Hi everybody, it's Sean from GoPark.com again. We're here working on a 1996 uh, Toyota 4Runner. Great truck. Uh, we're here to replace the interior door handle. Uh, sometimes these things break. Um, you know, the, the handle will break or the mechanism on the back will break. Uh, it's a, a fairly uh, simple procedure, uh, to be honest. Uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I have one of those here. Uh, you may need a, uh, a small flat blade screwdriver, um, but uh, for the most part, it's uh, uh, fairly simple to do. Uh, so Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and we'll go ahead and replace the interior door handle. To remove the, the interior door handle, we're going to pull it out. We use a uh, Phillips screwdriver. There's a small Phillips screw inside here. We're going to go ahead and loosen and remove that. Now, using a uh, small flat blade screwdriver, carefully pry out the bezel. Now, you, you want to be careful here. You don't want to damage uh, the interior lining. What you're going to do is you're going to slide the handle toward the hinge side. You can go ahead and pull the handle out. Now on the back here, it's kind of difficult to see. Let me see if I can get you a good angle on this. Okay. Now on the back here, oh, the shadow is brutal. Okay. On the back here, you can kind of see it. There's a small retaining clip right back here. Now that secures your locking rod. Um, to your handle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a small flat blade screwdriver and we're going to disengage that retaining clip and that will allow us to slide and remove the interior door handle. So, after you've gotten the bezel loose, what you want to do is, there's a little clip on the back here, you want to disengage that clip by sliding it out from the rod. And then once that's off the rod, you want to squeeze the top of it here and I'll slide the handle up and off. There we go. Now it's up and off. To reattach the interior door handle, and as you can see, we were doing some other stuff for this uh, with the door panel, so you don't, you don't have to take off any of this if you're just replacing the door handle. What you do is you slide the locking rod, you re-engage with your new handle. There's nothing wrong with ours, so we're just reattaching it. It'll be a little difficult to get to, so I'm going to use some pliers to kind of hold it down for me. What you're going to do is you're going to slide the handle right onto it and then to fully engage it you want to swing that retaining clip onto the rod and that that's what will lock it in place be a little tricky go. Now with the handle there, go ahead and sew it right into the door frame, slide it right into place.